In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay. March 30th, 2024, FSD beta 12.3.1. I'm just doing test loop now one again. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. I want to see if a second run on my test loop results in any change in behavior. First turn here, we've got some cars coming from the left, so it should creep forward a little bit. Okay, we've got a red Y. After the Y, it should go. If it goes quickly, it can go. Not taking too long, so we got to wait. It should go now, but if it hesitates, it hesitated too long. Actually, no. no. It was indecisive there, and it was just creeping its nose slowly into traffic. Vehicle was indecisive in deciding to proceed into fast moving cross traffic. So it was like steering wheel was jerking and it was creeping slowly and this guy's coming across at least 50 miles an hour and I'm just a slow moving car looking like I'm gonna cut him off. So that, that was a disengagement for safety reasons. In 1, feet, turn Going too right slow, just giving you a tap. So there's an intervention. Now turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. Nice approach to this green light. Okay, and then we should see the merge. Excellent. I'm so happy to see that. Good speed. I'm happy if it's doing the speed limit. Of course, if it's like pouring rain or icy, which it wouldn't be here, but it could be, I guess, if it's below zero. Uh, sorry, below freezing. Canadian, that's Celsius below zero. Um, then it should be slower. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Bent Road. So here's our left turn on the bends, turn signal, there it is, because we started slowing. Now turn left onto Bent Road. Get over in the left lane, out of the way, good. That guy was right on my butt. <laughs> nice left turn. Okay, it's creeping up to this speed bump now, but it, oh, there. It saw it at the very last second, but this time at least it was going slow enough it could it could adapt. I'm not sure why it's hesitating here. There we go. Maybe that pedestrian. I didn't do anything there. I just let it play out. Didn't tap the accelerator. Okay, quick decision to proceed. I'm glad it's not creeping forward for visibility at that stop sign anymore. Okay, slowing down In for the speed bump. Feet, turn left onto Copper Hill Drive. Nice, slowed down under 17, which was nice. Okay, good decision to proceed and giving it good acceleration because we're going uphill slightly. Let's see if it sees this Last now speed turn bump there. left onto Copper Hill Drive. I'm not sure if it saw the speed bumps or was slowing for the stop sign, but does it matter? Don't know. It went over them okay. Okay, nice approach. It could go right now. If it goes, I got a truck coming from the left. See, it hesitated too long again. But at least it's waiting. Still clear from the right. It could go right after this truck. It could go left right after this truck. <laughs> and it's going into the middle lane again. Intervention, uh, disengagement for that. Okay, the speed limit's 45, not 25. There we go, sees the 45. It's not accelerating, giving it a tap. Because I forgot to remove Walgreens. That's my fault, not the car. 
put it on the inside lane for this left on the Bouquet Canyon Road because I want to see how it does the bark for path planning for the curb in the middle of the road. I want to intentionally force it to test that. Okay. Sure. I mean, that was an actual situation where it needed to break because that guy did the right over into the left lane and we had a yellow light. That was actually a complex decision it made quickly there. I was actually I was In impressed 1, with that. 1,000 feet, turn left onto Bouquet Canyon Road. Okay, so I'm going to force it into this far left turn lane. Sorry, the inside left turn lane. If it doesn't pick it by itself. Yeah, it's not going to pick now it, turn so I'm left pushing onto it. Bouquet Canyon Road. Potentially want to try the inside left turn lane for this uh, controlled left. So the median there um, on 12.3 in the S, it wanted to go right into that median. So I want to see how 12.3.1 is doing. Oh, well, yeah, that makes snakes gone because we're waiting for a green light. Sometimes this light is so long. There it goes. Green. There we go. Okay, here we go. Looking better, there we go. It's going around the median. Excellent, I'm glad they fixed that. A little slow, you can accelerate now. I'm not tapping anything, I wanna see how this plays out. No, taking too long, giving it a push. Really quickly getting in the right lane, not sure why it did that. Could have given that car a little more space before it made the decision to get over to the right. And it's slowing down, so I'm giving it another tap. If we're gonna cut in front of somebody, at least you can do is the speed limit. And we don't need wipers, there's no rain. So it's really hugging this right lane, this right line. There we go, it's starting to come back into the middle. Speed indeed. 
Okay, let's see what it does here. It should accelerate up to 45. Yep, get over in the left lane, there's no traffic. Okay, stop. it's kind of slowing at 32, giving it a push. Acceleration here. 1,000 feet. Turn left onto via Joyce Drive. Again, slowing just, just a little more. There you go. I know we're turning left, but still got to move with the speed limit and people around us. Okay, now there turn we go. left onto via Joyce Drive. Slowing down a little early, but okay. It's signaling so at least people behind me know, and it should just go right into this left turn. It's kind of hesitating again. There's the decision. And there we go. FSD beta 12.3.1. <laughs> it's really pushing it here. On test loop one. Okay, that's too fast. Car is moving way too fast. 